And tonight our focus turns to Salt Lake City in Utah in the Intermountain West and the sole vice presidential debate of this election season. Many Georgia voters still reeling from last week's chaotic presidential debate. They're paying special attention to the face-off. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has our preview for us tonight. It's fair to say that Democrat Kamala Harris and Republican Vice President Mike Pence have their own small but fervent fan bases here in Georgia, separate from their presence on the presidential ticket. When Vice President Mike Pence spoke to a room full of evangelical conservatives last week, he was introduced by Ralph Reed, who has had a political relationship with Pence for nearly 20 years. He's a dear friend, has been for many years. Uh, he gives the president great advice and godly counsel and wisdom. Reed will be rooting for Pence tonight when he faces off on stage against Democrat Kamala Harris, the vice presidential pick of Joe Biden. I think he's going to have a good night. I think he's going to be a perfect gentleman, but tough as nails. And I think he's going to take it to Kamala Harris, and I think uh, she richly deserves it. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. Vice presidential debates are rarely memorable. You're the one that was making the comparison, Senator. The one between Lloyd Benson and Dan Quayle in 1988 was the rare exception. But Democratic State Senator Valencia C. is excited about tonight. Are you kidding me? I am ecstatic. She's going to make mixed meat out of him. When Harris campaigned in Metro Atlanta as a presidential hopeful, C embraced her candidacy and its symbolism. I know that she is ready for tonight. She's going to do us proud, and I'm so excited. I know so many people are waiting to see her. And backers of both parties are hoping for a more civil performance tonight compared to the presidential debate last week. I didn't really enjoy the debate between the president and uh, and Vice President Biden. It, it was just too much fighting. Uh, but I think this debate is going to have a lot of substance. So will the vice presidential debate make a difference? The answer is it could. In Georgia, a state where the two tickets are statistically tied in polls for the state's 16 electoral votes.